This is the future. Is the future. Good day Microzonians and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my first impression of the new, well, new for me, Amplify earphones. I just got them on Friday so at least I've spent a couple of days with them so I can give you the best first impression that I can. Now I know I'm a bit late to the party since I think these earphones already released in 2020 but I think this is the updated version of the original ones because I saw a, I saw a review that was done by this kid and the package that he had said that it was also a Note 2.0 but that his was only going to be lasting 12 hours and this one lasts for up to 20 hours of battery time so I guess this will be the more updated version. The price of these earphones that I paid was about 250 to 290 Rand. I saw them at the Hi-Fi Corporation and at Game. And that's where I got mine. And I paid uh, 250 Rand for it. So why did I buy these earphones? I got sick and tired of earphones breaking on me. Last year I had three pairs and I keep on breaking on the head straps or the head bands. I also had one that broke off on the earphone itself, broke loose from the the frame. You know those earphones you get with your cell phones? Now mine had a Type-C connector which means it was only one pair that worked on, on this phone and unfortunately whenever I'm done with the earphones and I put them in my bag, if I take them out they're all cooked up and kinked and it takes a lot of time just to unkink the wires and get them loose again. Also when working outside mowing the lawn I had a problem with the cable I had to always run the cable through my shirt, let it come down here, and still, while I'm busy working, my thumb or my finger will catch the cable and pull it out of my ears. The cable was beginning to irritate the shit out of me. And then the last reason is, um, last week, when I took out the earphone, it got stuck in my bag between other cables, and the whole piece of the earbud broke off. So there's a whole set of earphones again, wasted. So I decided I want to go for something that's wireless and see if the hype around them is what they say they are and that it's, it's nice. So here is my first impression. So obviously I don't have thousands and thousands of rands because I know your top class wireless Bluetooth earphones can go for up to 2000 rand, maybe even more. And I had to work within the budget. So that's why I settled for these ones. First of all, let's start with the charger. The tip of the charger looks like an Apple phone's charger and if you're an Android user like me, it becomes a problem once this cable gets lost. I would have liked it if they just included a normal Type-C port or even a mini USB port on the charging case, which would have made it easier for anyone to charge it with any kind of cable. The cable is too short for me and I would have really liked it if they extended it to a normal length for like a charger because my plug is sitting underneath my table I have to keep on getting down on all fours just to keep on putting the plug in and out of the charging brick It would have been nice for me if I could place the casing on the table and charge it like that There were two colors available to choose from white and black The reason why I went for the black is because white for me shows uh, when it's dirty too quickly the charging case itself is nice and small. It fits easily in your hand and it fits easily in your pocket. So it's light, small, comfortable and you will hardly even notice that it's there. Unfortunately, because the color is black, it is a big fingerprint magnet. You can easily see the fingerprints that's left on the casing. The hinge on the top of the casing is metal, while the rest of your case is made out of plastic. The lid opens and closes with a nice satisfying snap. The manual, I must say, is very poorly designed. It gives you the most basic idea of what's happening on the case. But I, for one, discovered this button at the bottom of the case. And I had no idea what this is for. Remember, I'm a first-time user. I would like it if they would make the manual a bit more friendly to first-time users. Now, accidentally, I discovered that when I press this button, there's a blue light 
that shines around the charging port. And if I didn't switch off the lights in the room, I would never even have noticed it. So I guess the button has two functions. One is to highlight the port if you want to charge it at night, or to show you whether the casing is charged or needs to be charged. According to the manual, if it flashes red or if the LED on the casing, which I assume is this, flashes red, it means it needs to be charged. And once the, the flashing stops, it means it's fully charged. So pressing the button actually showed me there is a, a light inside, but I would have liked it if they had a more visible charging indicator maybe there or a charging indicator maybe somewhere else in the case to show that the case is actually charging. The bottom of the casing is magnetized. So what's nice is once you take the, the earphones out and you put it in, it gets sucked in by the magnet. Mm. Pulling a line of Sebastian on myself. So it does however prevent the earphones from falling out if you hold the casing upside down by accident. So that's one good thing about the magnet. So your case is equipped with a 300 milliamp battery. And it takes, like I said, it takes about two hours to charge the case. Now, the case can provide you with a total of 20 hours worth of listening times. Because you can charge your earphones up to four times in your casing. It takes about an hour to charge the, the earphones itself. And then you've got listening time between three and four hours every time. Even up to five hours, depending on how you use them. To listen on your earphones before you have to charge them again which is very nice if you're on the go. Because if you're not close to any charge points, or if you have to go for long distances between charging, then you can at least have your earphones playing all day long until you can get back home and charge your case again. The earphones for that matter has got 30 milliamp battery in each of them. Let's talk about the earphones now. You will notice when you pull them out a little bit that there is a flashing LED on the earphones which will indicate whether they are charging or not. And once again guys, I'm a first time user. It doesn't even show you which side is left, which side is right. I would have really liked it if they could indicate on the earphone itself which is left or which is right. I ended up putting the earphones in ever which way until it felt comfortable and that I suppose would be left and right. But I also think that if you take the casing and you look at it from the front side, the left will be on the left and the right will be on the right. So maybe that's another way of looking at it. Pairing the earphones was extremely easy. I switched on my Bluetooth, I pressed the multifunction button on the earphones and they immediately paired with the phone. And after pressing the multifunction button once, the app automatically started playing my music without me having to go into the phone and activating the app. It already did it automatically. Switching from device to device is also very easy. I had my laptop on, it's got a built-in Bluetooth. The moment I switched off my phone, I was able to pick up on my laptop the, the earphones and it automatically connected to my laptop. So pairing is straightforward and super easy. Now, listening to music on my laptop, it works perfectly as long as you stay within the seven to 10 meter range and also if it's a direct line of sight. If you're about seven meters away and there's something in between you and the device playing, the earphone starts cutting out automatically. But if it's a clear, straight line of sight, you can go up to 10 meters before they start cutting out. So I guess you're wondering, how do they sound? Well, at first, the sound quality was very bland, very flat, didn't sound like anything special. I can tell you now from the beginning that bass is one negative thing of these earphones. You're not going to get a nice deep rich bass on these earphones. But clarity is perfect. Your balance is good once you know how to set it and it is quite loud. So to get the best sound of these earphones, if you're listening on a laptop, I would say use a program like Winamp. Use the pre-settings to get the best quality sound that you can enjoy. On your cell phone, what I had to do on my cell phone, I've got the P30 Pro, I went into my settings, I switched on Dolby Atmos, then I went into custom settings on my equalizer, and I custom set my equalizer to have nice enough bass, nice treble, and because the left hand side earphone 
sounds softer to me than the right hand side. I had to manually adjust the balance to a negative two towards the left to get the sound perfectly centered so that I can hear the music in my brain, not on the left or the right hand side. So it might be a factory setting, it might be just me not listening very nicely, but I clearly and distinctively noted that the right hand side is louder than the left. And so I had to adjust the balance. How loud do they go? Well, they go loud enough that you would pretty soon be ignoring your nagging wife while listening to Twisted Sisters, we're not gonna take it. So would I recommend this earphones for watching movies and watching TV? No. True wireless, my ass. It depends on the kind of program that you use. What I have found was on my laptop, if I used VCL, I was able to adjust the video synchronization for the sound to synchronize better with the, with the video. I had to adjust it to negative 400 for the second so that I can get the sound as closely matched to the lip movements as I can. On Windows Media Player, it's not. You will find that the sound comes first before the lips start moving and on some of the other programs, the lips will move and then the sound will come. But what I have noticed is if you're on your cell phone and you watch TikTok and YouTube, there's no delay. So it depends on the device and it depends on the kind of program that you use to do your playbacks with. And also playing games with them is a waste of time, even on a cell phone. I was playing a survival game and you could clearly see the door opening and closing and about a second later, the sound would come in of the doors opening and closing. So playing games like PUBG with these earphones is a no-no. I would not recommend it. But for listening to music, listening to radio stations, Perfect. But overall, they sound great. They do what I want them to do. I, they, they work for the purpose that I got them. As long as you play with the settings and you can adjust it to the way you want it, you will be get the best sound quality from these earphones. So that's it guys. That's my first impression of these earphones. They've got some negatives. They've got some positives. They will do what I need them to do. And um, yeah, if you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see any of my further uploads or if you want to know what's coming. I also now have a Facebook group that you can join. I will write the link down below and I'll put the link inside the description as well. I also still have my website that you can go and visit if you want to see if there's anything new that I'm busy doing, especially with the podcasts. You can see what I'm busy with there. And remember on my front page of my YouTube channel, I've got a PayPal button there now. If you want to contribute to my stay, uh, to my channel, if you want to donate to my channel and help me out to improve my channel and so on, feel free to go in there and leave a small donation. Until next time then guys, have a safe one. Cheers.